Quickly review the league's top performers and the current... Meeting your season goal comes with higher rewards, but all Today, from Ford Field in Detroit, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, decision time now, as this would be a long field goal attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. Third down here for this defense as they look to hold on and force a field goal try. They'll look to throw. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Four yards. Total alert as we get you back into the action. This offense coming up on a second down and three to go. Ebron caught left side. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, you just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Jason Cabinda punching it in from a yard away. And the Lions have got it back to within a score. 
The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Now the question, what do you do here? Time's not really an issue. You got over a minute, but you figure from this spot you'd need a good 50, 60 yards to even consider a field goal try. Yeah, so there's optimism there, but there's also a little bit of restraint, right? You got to make sure you don't take a sack here, don't end up in the end zone, ball gets stripped. You could give up two points in that occasion, or maybe even six if you can't get on and recover it yourself. So make sure you protect the guy throwing the football if indeed that's the plan of attack. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll drop the throw. Escaping the pressure right. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. They'll set up a throw. A quick throw, but incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll set up to throw. And he can't hang on to it, and the screen never got started. But not the graphic that this fan base wants to see week one, Charles. They were hoping to see key acquisitions, some bright spots. Instead, we're talking about injuries, preseason injuries that have guys missing here in this one. And even in today's football, where everyone does their best to try to have their starters ready for week one, guys still have to practice. They still have to train. And injuries do pop up. You're exactly right about that, though, Brandon. None of the people supporting this team want to see that graphic on the screen at the start of this game. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And that will bounce out of bounds before they can get a return going. A red zone alert. Let's jump back in here. First and 10 at the 16. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So they'll come up after the gain of 7 on a second and 3. On play action, they'll throw. He'll buy some time right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It goes as a gain of 8 and it moves the chains. Swift is into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. Well, they were down six at intermission, but they quickly erased that deficit, and Charles, now they've got a chance to take the lead. And while being down six points, obviously not an insurmountable lead. Tying a game up, that just relaxes a hold. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. Back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Throw it across his body and it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up past them. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone and unable to connect. try it here he's back to throw he'll take a shot for the end zone and that is incomplete they had to go for it with such little time remaining well cd always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early window games here in week one on a sunday comes to a close 
Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, and right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of this season. So for the Eagles, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for Detroit, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they will be back home next week for a date with Washington. This is the player card. This is your development. Here are a player's motivations. How will you?